Oh, boy. <sighs> I still keep forgetting to turn off my notifications on my phone. Bad tish, bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, it's been a day. Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. And tonight's live... We are going to go over the results of the painting, which I'm a little sad. Really, people? Really? Everybody goes live at 7. I better go at like 7.05 and get those people that are bored. <laughs> I'm not saying they'd be bored, but... So, you can't really see on the video. Oh, there we go. There we got a decent shot. You can kind of see the outline of it. Um, it didn't resist like I thought it would. Um, maybe because I didn't have enough wax on there because the joint compound absorbed it all. So I'm going to do another experiment um, tomorrow morning. I'll start off with it. I also have another experiment that I'm trying with a completely different thing just because I can and I want to. But I will um, talk about that later. So... Um, so that's the result of that one, and I'm going to do something fun with this because I want to see how it works. But let's move on to the other one that's kind of stuck. It's still a little wet on the back, but this one. Now, can you imagine laying in some resin or something that's that's got tint to it and then scraping most of that off so it looks like little pebbles in there? Or I, I don't know. Maybe go in with a brush and paint all those little divots in a dark brown or something, you know, just to make it look like stones. I think it looks really cool with the texture. Um, but I can see this going into something else. So I might, if I'm looking for some kind of mental break tomorrow, I might go in with a paintbrush and some black paint or some silver paint or something contrasting. Because um, black wouldn't really contrast that much because there is that black in the background. Maybe silver. I'm going to do silver on this one, so on this other one down here. But how cool would that be to have that in there and then have the texture as well? Because the texture is really hardcore texture right in here. It's really deep and really cool. I just, I, I, I don't know. I really like that. I might try another roller too. Um... Because I have, I think I have like six or seven of them that are all different textures. So, I might actually do this on a canvas though. So, we'll see. Okay, so, I had this idea. I'm like, well, this would look really cool if I were to um, paint just the raised side of it. And I'm like, well, that would be really tedious and hardcore to do. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. We can do this with... A little bit of this is sil uh, liquid leaf in silver you probably can't see it because it's all reflective but it's silver so and then I thought well I'm not gonna sit here with a paintbrush and paint all that in and then I'm like well you don't have to you big silly goose let's do it like this and take the stencil put it back down line it up mm, somehow I don't remember how I had it on there. Okay, this is proving more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so line it up there. Hmm. So, hey, maybe flip it over. That might work. I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't lining up. Duh. There we go. Still not quite perfect, but it's close enough. I'll we'll take the tape. There we go. Oh, there, now we got it. Perfect. Okay, and where'd my other tape go? There it is. 
all behind my bottles here. I need to clean my desk off. I need to use it for other stuff. But I was at the computer all day today, so I didn't get any arting done. I've been arguing with my computer, and it's winning. It's telling me I don't speak the lingo, which is true, because I don't. I am not a computer person at all. And that's why this YouTube thing has been a real challenge for me, is I've, you know, learning... <clears throat> And it's not even just computer programs. It's learning how to, tw you know, how to tweet and Instagram and Facebook. And well, Facebook, I've already kind of known what to do, and I'm still, you know, in the process of getting there. Considering a year ago, I had less than 200 followers on my Facebook, or less than 100, excuse me. And now, two years later, or a year later, I have like almost 250 so for me that's slow and steady growth and I'd rather have slow and steady growth because I'd rather have people that like me and we're going to stick around for the long haul than just that oh this is she's trending right now so I'm going to like her I, I don't want that I want someone who's going to be there for you know people that are going to be there for the long haul and watch me as I grow and and you know we create this artist haven and um and we you know do what we need to do. So what I'm going to do, I wish this, I was looking at some other leaf product um, online today that I might actually get. They're a Minnesota based company. They're called Eye Candy, I think, or something like that. I don't know. I'll look at it again and put the link in the description box. And then I want to put the lid on this. And this stuff is really high potency stinky. So I'm glad I have my window open because this stuff stinks. So I'm just using a cosmetic sponge and I'm just going to um, kind of off cast it like that. Just make sure it's just more, my, that M word. It's just slightly damp. And we're going to hold this down and we're just going to pounce this. Just straight up and down and even if I don't get a perfect coverage the first time around we'll go back over it I'll go back over it in a minute this will help kind of keep the stencil still in theory oh my goodness that dust stuff is stinky okay I'm gonna turn this just a little bit so I have a place to hold on to and get a little bit more, wipe it off. And that's the thing I don't like about this jar thing is if I had it in a bottle, which I don't know if it would survive in a bottle because it's very, I don't know, very strong, very chemically smell. But um, this is a really bright silver. But, um, because I could just put a couple of drops down instead of this whole big puddle that I didn't need all of that. But we'll go back and get the spots that we missed. And then... Hi, Jay! Okay, so we're gonna let that let go back and get a few of these spots. I'm just using the off cast. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that I poured that much out. Maybe I'll have to do it. Actually, you know what I could do? All right. So, time for the voila moment. And I don't wanna set this down on that. I'm gonna set it down right there. So, pull this up. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, and there's another thing that I want to do too. Dang it, I wanted to use this one. Well, I guess we're going to have to use a different stencil. So, that looks really funky. I like that. I might actually, actually, hang on a second. 
I'm gonna go back right here. There we go. For some reason that looks really flat. That I missed like a whole streak. I think that's where the stencil overlapped in the wrong spot. But you can't tell me that doesn't look cool. And it's raised as well, so it really pops out. So, and the thing with um, doing the joint compound is I only did one coat of joint compound, and I've been known to do several coats of joint compound, um, two or three. The Victoria cabinet, I think I did three, because I really wanted it to stand out. Um, and then and then be able to like feather it back in places so it looked worn um so that's what i did with that and that's what is my inspiration for doing these lives the last few days is um i want to play around with it more because it is such a fun um medium to work with and it's cheap and um i don't know if it's archival but i do know that it's very low voc and it doesn't make my hands break out and I have probably the most sensitive skin ever created. So I can do acrylic paint, but it makes my hands itch. I mean, my hands itch constantly. But people always say, oh, you're coming into money. Nope, just got some crap on my hands, that's all. But this is that one. And I'm just wondering if I just take, I think it looks cool. I think I might actually just kind of cut this out like around it so it's just like an edge of it and then go back with the silver again and then just put a little hook on it and hang it on my wall just because I like it um but maybe we'll go back to this guy no because that's really deep I don't have a I don't have a brush for that all I have are my good brushes I buy the cheap child brushes like the crafty brushes to use with the I have silver leaf and I have gold leaf that are both this brand, but they're very noxious and very like flammable and blah. So, and they don't wash out very easily. You got to use turpentine or acetone or whatever you know, like mineral spirits to wash it out of your brushes. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to to deal with that and all the smell that smell that lingers forever in a day. So, but I did want to show you really super quick because I do have a live that I want to watch at 8 o'clock and I still got to make supper. I know I'm a late eater. It's 7.15 here, 7.13 here. But this is the one that we did with the glue. I let it sit out and kind of get a little thick. But this is the one that we did um, with the glue. Now I've got chunks because it started to dry on the top. I didn't realize it was going to dry that quickly. I just opened it and stirred it like an hour ago. Okay, so it's still fairly thin, but I'm wondering how it would look. I don't want to use that one. I want to use something that's, let's use this one. It's got a Florida de lis on it. And you know, I haven't had Loki here. Loki is my daughter's cat, my daughter, Ariana, Ari. Um, she, I had her cat here last August and I'm still cleaning up cat hair. This is why when I get my land, I will have animals. They will just be outside animals because I don't like having cat hair everywhere or dog hair or I don't even like having people here. And I have a lot of people here. Okay. Let's do that so we don't fudge that up. And what do I do with the tape? It's underneath my package. My packaging. Okay, stay right there, please. Stay. Oh, goodness. Stay. My computer fan is going rambunctious. I'm going to need a new computer by the end of the year, I think. Need something with a faster processor. Okay, so this is the one with the glue. I'm going to do it right here because I am a klutz and I know I will spill something somewhere where I don't want it. 
Plus it also helps to hold the stencil down. Okay. I'll stir this up. And I have my card right here. And actually I'm going to wipe this guy off. Actually it should work. It's not coming up. The hard bits aren't coming off. Now I kind of talked about paddling. And this is what I did to stir up the big chunks. And you can still see there's a few little chunks in there. And there's also a lot of air bubbles. But paddling is just when you take it take your substance and push it and push it back and forth it's hard to show usually you do it with a spatula and on a flat surface on like a countertop and you just paddle it back and forth but that's that's how you do get clumps out of royal icing um out of liquid fondant out of anything that you don't want you know, works for for milk paint. It works for this kind of stuff, this joint compound. Like I said, this is kind of thin, but we're going to give it a whirl anyways. So let's load up our, our little trowel here. Let's do it like that. And I'm going to start right here. Hopefully it doesn't bleed under because this is just a cheap stencil that I got at the craft store and actually I might have to come back and do a second coat with this because it's really thin and I will I will just leave this right here and tomorrow morning or even later tonight when I see that it's mostly dry I'll come and do another coat and you can lift it up, but I find that if you do a thin coat first, if it's really thin and you don't have any more material, if you just do several thin layers, um, once this layer sits up a little bit, sets up a little bit, um, it'll keep it from flooding more. So, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to get off sometimes, but... Um, for the most part, you should be able to pull it apart fairly easily. So, we're just going to smooth this out, take off the excess, and scrape my card off. My towel is over on the other side of the room, so we'll clean that off later. And I'm going to let that sit, and then um, I'll come back to it later and then tomorrow night I am gonna go live and I'm gonna um, work on some of these projects tomorrow um, to finish them up like I said um, I might like I said paint up that other one and then there's another project that I want to do as well um, I'm gonna start that tomorrow morning and and go live again tomorrow night so um, that's all I got for tonight it was just kind of a, a little quick guy. I don't have much juice, so I gotta have my juice in order to have a longer life because I start losing my voice, which I don't know, maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> Keep me from talking for hours on end. But we'll see how this sets up. I'm hoping this gives a smoother surface than the joint compound by itself because I have an idea. And thank you, Heather Tracy, for your brilliance and being our mistress of mayhem. I love you to death. So, off I go to go grab some food because this girl's hungry. If you found value in this video, please click that like button. And if you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell that'll let you know when we go live on our channel or we upload new content thanks for joining me tonight i am grateful for you peace love and happiness